Hello and welcome to a new Kava time. Um, as you might notice, there's two today because I actually planned to do the Rolex one earlier but uh, didn't have enough time. So you've got the Rolex one in another video and then you've got this one. This one has Omega, uh, Panerai Divers, Cartier, um, Saddam Hussein, Iraqi Air Force watches, Longines alarm watch and then a whole bunch of different stuff also a very special piece but let's delve into that in a little bit I will show every single watch separately in this video because not all of them will have a separate video and I think it's nicer to actually see watches in video than when you only see them on uh, pictures because video already shows a little bit more than pictures ever can so first off we've got this beautiful Omega Seamaster Deville this one is uh, the boy size, 32 millimeter, runs nicely, fully original, nice uh, champagne sunburst dial, um, nice case back as well, fully original, uh, signed crown and crystal, only defect is a chip in the crystal here, but um, while well, the chip is only on the outside, it's cosmetic, um, still a very nice piece comes on a new lizard leather strap and you'll see a lot of these lizard leather straps because I got a whole batch of them made then up next we've got this incredible Omega Seamaster Deville this one is a um, steel case with uh, a 14k or 18k solid gold bezel really beautiful piece um, flawless white sunburst dial haven't wound this baby so it's not ticking uh, fully original original crown and crystal really really sharp and really beautiful um, next up we've got this Omega Seamaster quartz this has a blue brush dial really sweet piece as well um, the dial varies a little bit in color from blue to gray just depending on how light catches it but really sweet piece comes on a nice uh, leather strap as well nice and thin great for everyday wear um, after that we've got this beautiful gold plated Omega Genève square with a blue sunburst dial really stunning piece and just yeah just quite something then we have something quite else this one is a uh, well almost the same model but this one is a pretty rare one it's a Omega Genève automatic square but this one is a caliber 1481 um, which is a joint development between Omega and Tissot and not only that this baby is new old stock which you can tell by the uh, purple goo on the case back uh, this is how the watches uh, used to come in back in the day so that well this is basically protective goo you can just scratch it off um, but obviously well I'm just gonna leave it because it protects it uh, a bit from scratches this one new old stock superb condition the dial does have some patina from age but very nice overall this is a caliber 1481 as I said um, so to use it basically it's like normal you pull out the crown to set a time and then you push it for a quick set date and that's it and yeah it just comes on the original omega beads of rice bracelet as well also new old stock does have some marks from storage but just really really incredible piece this thing up next another very crisp Omega Genève with champagne sunburst dial um, all original original crown and crystal the crystal does have um, crazing this is from age uh, sometimes happens it's like a uh, hairline marks in the crystal but still looks super crisp very beautiful piece after that we've got this beautiful 1970 Omega CK's Constellation this one was designed by Gerald Genta this model really beautiful piece all original white sunburst dial sharp case uh, original crown and crystal beautiful observatory medallion on the case back then we have this beautiful 36 and a half millimeter Omega Seamaster automatic day date 
This one has beautiful white sparkle pipe pen dial. It's uh, quite something special to behold. Uh, difficult to capture the true beauty in pictures and video, but in the flesh it just pops so beautifully. Um, steel case also in nice condition. Original crown and crystal, I believe. Yeah, just check the description. Um, I have the complete details in there. Nice piece as well. Also comes on a brand new lizard leather strap. And yeah, as I said, 36 and a half millimeter diameter without crowns. So nice big size, especially for its age. Then we've got two rare birds. Um, both of these a steel case with a solid rose gold bezel. You almost never find rose gold for vintage Omega. So very special. This one's super crisp dial. This one a bit patinated. These are both from 1940s, I believe. Um, just very special pieces. This one has a rose gilt ribbon dial, so it pops really beautifully apart from the rose gold bezel already. Just really special and beautiful pieces. Up next, in the next row, we have lots of blue pieces, um, which I will show you. First off, not a blue piece. This one is a 1960, uh, well, 1960s Omega uh, Split Second Chronograph Retrapante. Uh, this is a very special piece. It doesn't seem to be running right now, which is strange because, uh, oh, there we go. Like um, an hour ago, it was still running. Anyway, uh, check the video for this. I've explained it. It's, uh, well, good condition but it can definitely use a service i don't think it has ever been serviced anyway beautiful split second retrapant this was used for timing uh, well running events and other kind of stuff so you can time as many things as you want just use the retrapant chrono function just really special and pretty rare piece uh, there's not a lot of these in the world up next we've got this Omega Genève Dynamic with a uh, well, dial that does have a few marks but overall still decent condition watch. Um, then we have a big size, well the Dynamic is also a bigger size. This one is a 36.3 millimeter Omega Genève with a blue sunburst dial. Pretty nice piece too. Um, Pops beautifully, dial does have some patina. Fully original with uh, integrated bracelet as well. Well, I mean, um, crown has been replaced, but original integrated bracelet. Then we've got the Omega Seamaster Bond. This is the original Golden Eye uh, model from 95. Well, this one is from the 2000s. It has super luminova loom and has been fully referred, well, has been. Uh, service refurbished um, so it looks like new the case has been refreshed so it pops incredibly beautifully this is just the most beautiful one you'll find and just amazing condition up next we've got the evolution of the previous one which is a reference 2221.80 beautiful dial as well looks a little bit more luxurious than the other one this one is a bit more uncommon um, with beautiful big logo case back then we've got very rare uh, tight well not very rare but uh, uncommon omega seamaster titanium with beautiful big loom and uh, electric blue dial very nice and light pops beautifully and very strong strobe bright loom then another beautiful bluesy. This is a uh, Panerai Pam 119 with uh, this is 40 millimeter case with a beautiful blue brush dial. Just really spectacular piece. Something you barely ever see. Because of uh, well, most Panerai have a black dial and blue, pretty rare and especially 40 millimeters. Don't come across too often. Um, original. Um, brace well um, strap and clasp as well up next we continue the blue streak with a beautiful philip watch caribbean um, this one is the 1500 which is a thousand meters 
This one uh, was way ahead of its time. This is like one of the famous diver watches of the 1960s, 1970s with a blue glossy dial which has not quite spidered but patinated um, in a special way. But yeah, very nice condition overall. Fully original, original crown, original bracelet, everything. Um, nice piece the crown does have well the crown doesn't screw on anymore and um, there is currently an issue with the stem i'll see if i can sort it out but yeah beautiful piece and uh, pretty rare and uncommon much uh, deeper depth rate than any of the rolexes of its time and yeah as i said this was really ahead of its age um, something in the same vein is this lefar which is um, well very cool piece as well with its stars and stripes color scheme because this one blue white and red just for the ultimate patriots um, well very american watch also lafar is a american work uh, american market watch um i forgot which brand they i think i believe they work together with le jour and whatever um it's just yeah just really cool watch also similar design as the um, philip watch you have to extract the movement from the front special compressor design this one is also special diver case rated up to 15 atm which is uh, 150 meters nowadays obviously don't trust it anymore but yeah nice piece um then up next we have Cartier and some Saddam Hussein Iraqi Air Force watches. First up, we've got this uh, beautiful blue Cartier tank. Well, pretty simple, don't need to say too much about it. It's uh, a quartz watch. Then we've got this uh, Cartier 21 or Cartier 21. Um, beautiful piece. This is immense size, but works great for women as well nowadays. It's uh, 32 millimeter, if I'm not mistaken. Then we've got a pretty, well, very rare um, Universal Genève Guild Shadow um, with the Iraqi Air Force coat of arms. This one was uh, issued to Iraqi Air Force or something military um, under Saddam Hussein. This was in the 1970s. It's uh, the Guild Shadow Automatic, which has a micro rotor automatic, super thin, only 5.8 millimeter, really cool piece. In the same vein, we've got this beautiful Eterna Contiki, which has a astonishing, astonishing white brush dial with the same Iraqi Air Force logo, and just really beautiful piece. Fully original, original bracelet. Um, and on the back you've got Ministry of Defense markings, original crown, just really sharp, has been serviced and waterproofed, uh, pressure tested. Then we've got this beautiful alarm watch, just really, really striking piece too. And a really cool feature. Then this beautiful Longin Ultra Chron Chronometer, also not very common to find the Chronometer Ultra Crons. Uh, this one is a 36 millimeter case and just looks so sharp. Super beautiful piece, uh, very nice condition. Up next we've got this super crisp Longin Automatic. This one also 36 millimeters with a silver brush dial and beautifully aged loom. Just really sharp piece and beautiful as well. Then we've got this Longin Automatic. This one is a beautiful champagne linen dial, all gold, well gold plated, uh, fully original and it's very thin automatic and it comes with the original Longin box. Very nice piece this one as well. Then the last row we've got uh, the affordable section. Well, some are not super cheap, but some are dirt cheap. Uh, first off, we've got this Favre Leuba Sea Raider 36000. Um, this one is basically a Zenith respirator. 
which has the same ca- uh, Erwin or Erwin Piqueret case that the Hoyer Monaco had. So it's a special case design meant to be waterproof. Uh, basically, what you get is uh, two case pieces and a crystal which is uh, wedged between the case. And then as water pressure increases, the case will push against each other. And so basically that way it waterproofs the case. Um, special piece, very nice price. Uh, it's not running because I haven't wounded. It's a bit rough winding, but it is working uh, as it should. There you see. Just two simple winds and it's already ticking. Then we've got this uh, beautiful Seiko Speed Timer. This is a Japan pen market watch with a beautiful blue dial it's a bit difficult to capture in a uh, video because of the sapphire or mineral i believe sapphire crystal but very nice condition this one is um, a pulse meter so it's very nice for doctors to check the pulse of their patients uh, with the help of this sweet sweet watch also i haven't wound any of these watches but they are working nicely as they should um but yeah it goes a little bit better when i actually wind them before showing this but to wind all of them um, don't always have the time next up this incredible mido multifort this is a, a full rotor automatic because the first mido multiforts were bumper automatics but this one is already full rotor this one really beautiful piece with a two-tone or even three-tone gray and black dial with beautifully aged radium loom um, original crown and everything beautiful piece up next um, a Seiko Sportsmatic which has a uh, quite a beat up dial this one very cheap very nice well it's a nice movement decent enough case but the dial is just quite beat up then we've got this beautiful new mark on a, a bunt strap this one is the kind of strap they had for uh, military watches in world war ii this one is a uh, very very cheap because it has a pin lever movement um, but yeah for the cheap ones i prefer to just combine because shipping is more expensive than some of the watches uh, most of these will be advertised uh, without shipping cost included so message me for the shipping cost um, but yeah it's better to get a few or if you get uh, one of the expensive ones just tack on one of the cheap ones i'm happy to work something out this one is a sandals aquaplane beautiful piece a uh, nice case back as well very nice condition just um, well nice affordable nothing nothing super special nothing uh well yeah just a nice piece for a nice price then we've got this uh, I believe 1960 Eterna Contiki this one is uh, original well original but the case has been polished crown and crystal has been replaced uh, white dial is in decent condition but does have patina nice uh, logo on the case back as always up next we've got a pretty special beauty actually this is a buren slash hamilton um, this one is a diver from 1960s and as you might know buren and hamilton they work together also for the development of the hoyer caliber 11 micro rotor um, this watch is branded buren but you've also got the exact same model with Hamilton brand. This one has a Hamil- Hamilton movement uh, because, well, obviously they work together. Nice loom. This is a uh, 1960s, so it's dead tritium, but still shines for a moment when you make it dark. And yeah, just really cool piece. Uh, this has a special crown. As you see, there is a hole in the middle, which is a helium escape valve. This one is uh, waterproof up to. I forgot, I think like 300 meters or something like that, or 200 meters. But yeah, just a special watch, um, 600 feet. So yeah, that's um, 200 or 300 meters, 200 meters. 
and yeah just really cool piece and very nice price for this then we've got another special piece um, an oris chronoris this is the first oris model uh, well the first chronograph that oris ever made uh, it's pretty special piece with uh, a one well with only the center chrono which has a start stop reset and that's it um, then you've got a built-in rotating bezel which you can use to set the elapsed time basically when you start using the chrono you push you put this to where the minutes hand is like this for example and then after the elapsed time you will see like okay it's that many seconds like 10 seconds and if the minute hand would be here like 10 minutes 10 seconds or 15 minutes uh, 15 minutes 10 seconds just like that um, this one is a pretty rare version with like um, an orange clamshell well not clamshell but something tapestry dial has a lot of names um, these type go by sometimes clamshell but clamshell is more um, goes out this is just linear so yeah just tapestry dial beautiful piece fully original um, and lastly we've got this Girard Perego chronograph uh, this one has a uh, well steel case with 18 karat solid gold accents 18k bezel and bracelet as well uh, this one does need a service it works and the chrono works but the chrono sometimes uh, takes a while to engage okay um, it's running as you can see the running seconds there um, yeah there you go chrono is working decently now but sometimes there you see when you try to restart it after pausing it doesn't immediately go but um, yeah with the service it should be fine also the reset isn't uh, clean to zero um, but yeah overall quite nice the date window is a bit tough to show because it's uh, well there's like a magnifying glass there but the date is there um, yeah just a bit difficult in this kind of light uh, bracelet also has two links in there that are not original to the watch but uh, yeah they I can remove them for you if you want but just figure to leave them because uh, it fits up to bigger wrists this way uh, generally these go for quite a bit but because of the service um, required I'm happy to let it go for a nice uh, soft price anyway hope you enjoy them uh, it's quite a bit uh, but uh, quite a lot of watches too